What is up VR lover? Physics and VR works together like a charm and games like Bonework are a good example of how you can use this technique to create more accurate movement and interaction with it. So I have the pleasure to announce a new mini tutorial series where we will have a look at how you can create your own full body VR physics. So in the video that you are watching right now, we will have a look at the basic setup. Then in the part two, we will learn how you can use it with a physics locomotion system to move around. Then in the third part we will see how you can use a physics rig to grab an object and finally the last part of this series will be uploaded on my patreon where we will use these techniques to make a full game so if you'd like to support the channel get access to the source code of all of my projects and exclusive content join us link in the description but without further ado let's get started with our tutorial okay guys so we are in an empty unity project so for this tutorial i'm going to use the unity xr toolkit and unity 2021 dot three but any version above 2019.4 and any other sdk will work with this physics setup that i'm about to show you so i already have a xr rig setup in my scene with n presents and of course you can watch my tutorial series on how to make a vr game with the unity xr toolkit if you don't know how to do this but now let's see how we can turn this vr rig into a physics vr rig so the first thing that i'm going to do is create an empty parent to this xr origin we can right click and select create empty parent. We can rename it physic rig. Now make sure that the local position and rotation of the XR origin is at zero zero now, but it should be the case by default. And so to turn this rig into a physics rig, the technique that we will use is add a joint for both our ends and for our head to be attached to the physical body of our player. So to create a physical body, we can select our XR origin, click on add component and add a rigid body. There you go. So we can set the collision detection of this rigid body to continuous dynamics so that it will have a more precise collision. And I'm going to freeze all of its rotation X, Y, Z because we just want this object to move and not to rotate. Finally, I'm going to set its mass to four. So this will be important later on when we will use joint, but you will see how in a minute. There you go, now the rigid body of the body is down. Next, we need to set up the collider that will follow us around. So for this, let's create an empty child of the XR origin, rename it body collider, and then add a capsule collider on this game object. We can set the radius to 0.1. No need to change its position and other settings like that because we will do it in a script to make this body follow our headset. So to do so, let's go back to our physics rig game object and let's create a new component called physics rig. Now in this component, we are going to need a public transform reference to the player head and a reference to the capsule collider called body collider. Then two float, one called body height min that we can set initially to 0.5 and another one called body height max that we can set to two. There you go. Now we have everything that we need. So now in the fix update, not the update, let's update the body by first setting its I to be body collider dot height equals mat f dot clam player dot head dot local position dot y body height dot min body height min body height max. So by doing this, we are setting the height of the collider to be the distance from the ground to the player head and we clamp this value between our min and max so that it will not go beyond and above a certain value. Then we can set the center of the body collider with body collider dot center equals new vector three player head dot local position dot x body collider dot height divided by two here this is important and finally player head dot local position dot z and there you go guys just like this the body collider should follow us so let's save our script and go back to unity okay let's not forget to reference this component so for the head we can drag the main camera over there for the capsule collider we can drag our body collider that we made earlier and now if i click on play as you can see, it works. The body collider is following us when I move around. And if I go near the ground, it stops and does not go below a certain min value. So already this is super useful because now with this body collider, if I try to move inside this cube that I have here in my scene, I got pushed back. So this is super useful if you don't want to collide with the scene. And same goes if you wanted the player to crouch, to go under something with our body following the height, it will be now possible. And this is something that we will exploit further in the next episode by adding physics-based locomotion system. But for now, 
Let's keep going with the physics setup of our rig. Okay, so what we need to do is create joint attached to the body that will follow our hands and head. For this, let's create an empty game object under the physics rig, rename it left and physics. We can add a rigid body to it. This time, we also want to set its collision detection mode to continuous dynamics, but for the constraint, we will leave it like this as we want it to rotate also. And now as a child, let's create a new empty game object that we can name Collider. We can add a box collider to it, then scale it to match the size of our hand, approximately. There you go. Now what's left is the join. So let's go back to the left hand physics game object and add a configurable joint. So a configurable join allows to create some constraint between two rigid body. In our case, we just want some drive to push the body when our hand is also interacting with an object. And to do so, let's first drag the XR origin rigid body in the connected body of the joint. Then let's go to X drive and write for each axis 5000 on the spring and 50 on the position damper. Obviously, the higher the spring, the bigger will be the influence of the ends upon the body. But I think it works well with 5000, so let's keep it this way. Now, this was for the position, for the rotation. We can set the rotation drive mode to slurp here and set the slurp drive spring to 5000 and damping to 50 also. So here, don't hesitate to play with these settings to fit what you need. Finally, and this is really important, by default, a joint influence the object it is on from the connected body. But remember that it is the opposite that we want. We want the body to be influenced by the hand. So to do this, we simply need to check here, swap bodies. And there you go, just like this, we have almost finished the setup of our physical rig. That's right, because now that we have the setup done for one of our hands, we can simply duplicate this whole game object, rename it right and physics, then do it all over again. So duplicate it once, and this time rename it head physics. And for this particular one, we don't want to rotate, so let's freeze its rotation. And we can also lock its angular motion on the joint for all axis. Then we can also change its collider to something that looks more like a head. So I'm going to remove the box collider and instead add a sphere collider and set its radius to 0.1. And there you go, now it's over. The body setup is finished and what's left is to make the joint follow the position of our controllers and camera. So Let's go back once again to the physics script script to do this. Okay, so in this script, we are going to need another transform reference to the left controller and another for the right controller. We already had one for the head, so that's perfect. Then let's add three configurable joint reference. One for the head called head joint, one for the left hand called left hand joint, and finally, one for the right hand called right hand join. There you go. Now to update the joint, we can simply write in the fix update left hand joint the target position equals left controller dot local position. Then left hand joint dot target rotation equals left controller dot local rotation. Then we can copy these two lines and do the same, but this time for the right hand joint with the right controller. There you go, it is as simple as this. Now you know what to do next. We can do the same, but for the head. So with head joint dot target position equals player head dot local position. Now let's save and go back to Unity. And as always, I'm going to reference all of our component. So the left hand controller under the XR origin for the left controller, right hand controller for the right controller, and drag our joint in the physics rig. There you go. So before clicking on play, I know that you are all curious to see what will happen with this rig. But before this, we need to fix a little issue that we might have with all of the body parts colliding together. So to fix this issue, we can go in the inspector here, click on layer and create a new layer that I will call body. There we go. Now we can assign this layer to our physics rig. We can also say yes to set the layer to all of the children as well. And now if we go to edit, project settings, physics, we can remove the physics interaction between the body layer and itself over here. And now finally, let's close these windows. Now if I click on play, everything seems to work well. And when I push my hands on the cube, they collide and I can even push myself further like if I was pushing a wall. But more than that, 
if I push down, I can lift myself and climb. This is just awesome. And just like this, in no time, we have a really cool climbing system already implemented with our setup. But that's not it. From here, you can play with the settings of the body, like change the spring, the damper, but also change the mass of the body part. And you can already interact with other physical objects. And this is something that goes really well with the physical locomotion system that we will see in the next part. So subscribe to not miss it and make sure to follow us on Patreon if you'd like to have access to the source code and exclusive content. But that is all for me. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye bye.